Hi gamers, since there are so many action roguelike games that just released, I thought maybe this is the right time to update the best action roguelike games that you should play in this 2023. If you haven't watched the part 1, make sure to do so before this one, so you don't get confused about why some games aren't mentioned. Alright then, let's get started. Starting to the number 15, Anvil. It's an indie action roguelike shooter that takes players on a thrilling mission to uncover the mysterious folk and save humanity from hostile mechanical lifeforms. With multiple players' roles, the game caters to a variety of playstyles ensuring a unique set of thrills and challenges for every player. While the single player mode is fun, the true potential of the game lies in the multiplayer component. Teaming up with friends or players around the world for cooperative play is a fundamental part of the game's appeal. Next up at number 14, Spell Dicks is an exciting rock-like game that places a heavy emphasis on magic combat and skill combos. Your objective is to ascend through multiple floors of towering structure. Crafting a powerful combination of spells and digs that trigger frequently is the key to success in combat. Defeating enemies rewards you with gems, the essential resources for creating your equipment. Each weapon in the game is also associated with a unique spell. Not only that, the weapon attacks synergies with digs and spell, making them integral to your build depending on what you acquire during your run. Moving on to the number 13, God of Weapons offers a solid smash up of gameplay combining elements from Brotato and Backpack Hero. This game features smaller arena and less over the top action. The gameplay loop is engaging. You enter a small arena, battle monsters, and strive to survive until the timer hits zero. The real challenge is the inventory management. Spend in game currency wisely to optimize your weapons, armor, and artifacts for the next battle. After conquering 20 fights, you achieve victory and earn currency for meta progression upgrades. You can expand the potential item pool in the shop and unlock different characters with three different playstyles and level up to become the best. Down to the number 12, Renfield, Bring Your Own Blood. Inspired by the horror comedy film Renfield, players embark on a one-touch gameplay adventure combining elements of roguelite mechanics and extraction shooter games. It offers demanding yet rewarding experience, granting players immortality and mystic powers. The game presents a single-player adventure with room-based action and intuitive one-touch controls, delivering a fresh take on the roguelite genre. With different stages, formidable enemies, diabolical bosses, unlockable and upgradable companions further enrich the gameplay, providing valuable assistance throughout the journey. Moving on to the number 11, Arc Runner. It's an exciting roguelite third-person shooter with a cyberpunk style that puts players in a thrilling battle against an AI-controlled space station infected by a metavirus. There are three different classes, soldier, ninja, and hacker. Each has its own playstyle and abilities so there is a lot of variety and chance to play again. The nights that power upgrade system make it possible to keep getting better and trying new things. The game is very fun and will make you want to play it again and again. Down to the number 10, Summum Eterna. The spin-off prequel to the Metroidvania game Eterna Noctis combines dungeon crawler mechanics with fast-paced combat in a unique 2D style. This roguelite adventure brings back old favorites and adds to their stories. You will go into mini worlds that are made at random, and at the end of each zone, you will fight a dog boss. Weapons are very important to your journey, and there are many different kinds and effects to find. At first, the game can be hard to understand because it takes time to unlock and understand all of the mechanics and upgrades. Down to the number 9. Datling is a cyberpunk roguelike shooter with quick and difficult gameplay. In this system, your mind is copied to control a combat cell android. You will investigate labs, warehouse, and luxury high crises and mess up the operation of competing corporate interests. The combat mechanics heavily rely on marking enemies, which refills your shield and ammo and allows you to chain attacks without reloading. Mastering your combat cell abilities and using the elemental effects and construct balls will be crucial to your survival. 
next to the number 8, N and Co. You will play as Resurrected Corpse, tasked with guiding lost souls to the outer life. As a servant of the Grim Reaper, your journey is fraught with challenges, including battling various creatures and spirits. To survive, you must scavenge, gather, mine, and craft everything you can find. The more materials you get, the more gear, potions, and clothes you can make. Combat is pretty simple and mostly involves hacking and going backwards. The randomness of each run, which is affected by luck and random number generator, makes the game more exciting and makes it hard to stop playing. Down to the number 7, Match Shot. It's an addictive action roguelite platformer that takes players on a cosmic journey through Lovecraft County. With handcrafted procedurally generated levels, amazing perks, and challenging boss encounters, this game offers a captivating experience. The movement mechanics are smooth and dynamic, keeping players constantly on the move. Strategic decision making is crucial as players must choose the best path on the map to maximize rewards and progress. The game incorporates roguelike elements where that means losing everything except either, which is used to equip and upgrade transmutation for subsequent runs. At number 6, Spiritfall. It's a thrilling mix of Hades and Super Smash Bros. It takes part from both games to make a captivating experience that is different from other Smash Rocklights. The game progression which includes moving from room to room, getting buffs, and collecting money enhance its roguelike nature. You can run, jump, attack, and do powerful smash attacks, also a projectile with a cooldown, and assist attacks and a death at death to the way combat works. The fighting mechanics encourage players to take advantage of the unique aspect of a smash-like game, such as triggering effects when they double jump or dealing more damage from a distance. Down to the number 5, Gunbrella. I must say that I am intrigued by this unique and quirky game, the combination of a shotgun and umbrella, as the protagonist's weapon is undeniable captivating. The game offers a thrilling combat experience and immersive movement mechanics. The combination of shotgun and an umbrella opens up a world of possibilities in combat. The ability to stun enemies and navigate the environment with each adds a unique element to the gameplay. Overall, Gunbrella appears to be a delightful indie game that offers a unique blend of crunchy combat, excellent movement mechanics, and engaging story. Next up at number 4, Oblivion Override. If you're a fan of fast and fluid hack and slash rock like, like Dead Cells, Oblivion Override is a game that you don't want to miss. The combat is fast-paced and full of stylish moves, with the ability to dash and even walk on walls making you feel like a ninja. The game offers a wide variety of weapons to suit different playstyles and as you progress, you can unlock new weapons and upgrade crimson abilities. The game's difficulty is challenging but rewarding, with dog enemies, intense boss battles and traps at every corner. Mastering the mechanics of wall running, dashing and aerial mobility will turn you into a combo machine. Moving on to the number 3, Aka Silatol, the game offers a unique take on the roguelike genre and has quickly become a favorite among Gamescom attendees. You play an Axolotl who is hungry after having their food stolen, and you choose violence as your means of response. With your trusty AK-47, you go on adventure that includes murder, hatred, and the occasional snack. To stay alive, you learn the strengths and weaknesses of different enemies, from rats to moose. After clearing a room, you will be presented with upgrade options, allowing you to customize your character and increase your chance of success. Down to the number 2, Voidigo. It's an excellent action roguelike that will keep you interested with its unique style and ability to be played over and over again. It has a clear default for vibe, like Cult of the Lamb and Enter the Dungeon. As it combines top-down exploration with bullet hell gameplay, the game gets the point of boss fights and makes them a natural part of the overall combat experience. You will find a variety of weapons, abilities, and upgrades to make your characters and your bullets better. The game's animations and attention to detail are amazing. Voidigo is a self-published game that deserves to be recognized as one of the best games of 2023. Finally, at number 1, 
Blast Blue and Tropic Effect. It's a great mix of action roguelikes and metroidvania, or you can call it roguevania. Action combat is the main way to play, each character has their own traits and a variety of moves. This means that players can make their own combos and have exciting fights. Even though the game is fast-paced, it encourages players to think strategically and act carefully. The combination of many features and complicated game mechanics makes for an adventure that may need to be taken slowly. The music is also goes well with what's happening. While this game is an early access, it already looks good and I think it has a bright future. So that's it for today. What do you think about this list? Despite this video is the part 2 of the series, I know that there are still other action rock like games that I haven't mentioned yet. So feel free to share your top action rock like games in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and make sure subscribe if you don't want to miss another great list. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.